welcome to another edition of uh, First Minister's Questions Review. And uh, thanks to uh, Nori and uh, Phil for filling the breach last weekend for, for the first FMQs of the current session. While well, you were away. Cloud team. I was doing sooth. Even though it was rather like last time. Mm. I was doing sooth amongst the foreigners. Aye, the foreigners. The foreigners of my foreign family. Nah. Most of my family are foreigners these days. Not that it bothers me at all. But from the football teams they support, of course. Right then, gentlemen. Uh, FMQs, it was back last week. Today, what did you think about it today? We'll start with Phil. First impressions. First impressions, um, well, the first impressions were the first question from Joanne, who appeared to be accusing, just for the, 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 the grammar the terminology was using, uh, accusing Alex Salmon of buying a property off somebody for £840,000. And then when this person left the SNP and became, no, that's the Tories and became a Yes supporter, he sold it back to him for £50,000. Um, Salmon didn't look that bothered. Um, it just struck me as rather inappropriate type of questions or behaviour. I mean, if there's anything there untoward and it's corrupt, then that's what the police are for, that's what the stand is. It just struck me as rather a waste of a question because, um, and she just kept on, and she kept on looking actually at her notes I'm again. Sorry. It was completely, utterly and totally out of order. Yeah, it was. And, I, and actually... She yeah, named the guy? Yep. Yeah. Suggested that there was basically. Oh, it I was mean, the premise that, that corruption. Salmond yeah. would know anything about it. Mm -hmm. She asked a specific question to which she already had the answer. Mm -hmm. She took the opportunity to give the Conservatives a wee kick in and then to get torn in Alex Salmond. I mean, the system is really bad if ministers get a say in what's paid for land or what land's sold for. They should have no hands on at all. She didn't ask the relevant question. She asked no question. She the was the just, relevant question was, yeah. why was the, proper, the, the property worth 840000 when it was bought and worth only 50000 when it was sold? But the, the first answer that Sam that gave the first question to was, was the correct one. That, uh, yeah, put in a request in a writing and, and you'll get the answer. And if you're not satisfied... But the whole thing was trying to intimate that the government was corrupt, that they were all in there with property deals. Sorry, if well, she's put to be groundless, she, it's a standards committee. She, she's, uh, entitled, it's, it's she's, totally she's entitled to bring it up. What she is not entitled to do is drag some guy John by naming him mm -hmm. over the coals. But she and she's the, got form on this. It's oh, bloody outrageous. It's, it's, it's nonsensical personal. The guy has no opportunity to defend himself. Yeah. You know, I, I just think it's terrible. I mean, it's occasionally used in Westminster when some guy's beyond the reach of the law or something and it's the only way yeah. to get him named and shamed. But normally that's after he's been chased down by police or whatever. In this case, I, I really hope that there's some sort of foundation to this because if there isn't, she wants. Just, she should be hauled over the bloody coast. Seems so strange. And anyway, we, if you went down, you had Ruth Davidson, who did a really, really good presentation. I really haven't got clues. There was just loads of figures flying backwards and forwards. But she did present it actually very well and very feistily. Well, New yeah, it's a not-for-profit um, system yeah. that the SNP have introduced, which admittedly has been taking a long time to get going. And yeah. I think that there, there was some truth in her. Yeah, but there's, a, there's a reason for that because you're not going to be making five million percent out of it. I mean, if you've got a choice between a PFI built in England and a not-for-profit built in yeah. Scotland, yeah. where are you going to go? PFI. You know? Yeah. So I mean, then, what was it? Recently, there was figures came out for a school. Oh. It's cost them six or seven times as much as the original capital cost to build it. But that's, what, that's like the new Royal Infirmary. The new it's, Royal Infirmary, I think, was either 160 or 180 million to build. Um, at the end of that period, the people that built that, the contractor, they'll get over a billion pounds back. That's a pretty good rate of return. Uh, yeah, I, and I'm sorry, you know, and that all comes from the previous government. But let, let's be honest, she, I think Ruth had a valid topic, valid issue. Yeah. 
and did it very well. Uh, and she asked it quite quite well. And interesting enough, even Willie Rennie seemed to have a valid. Yeah, he was quite talented, and, you know, and um, yeah, quite talking about patient care, palliative care, was it? Yeah, yeah he was actually quite relevant today. He actually sounds like a, a proper. He man never mentioned two year olds. No, he never kept. He kept totally away from the kids. Well, yeah. he mentioned two year olds last night. He couldn't. Have, he couldn't resist it on the budget thing. Yeah. Oh, looking for it. But Neil Finley's was an interesting question about the ten million pounds basically being cut taken out of the cleaning. health service cut from cleaning. And you think I think it was a cut cleaning? Did he get two questions? No, he just no. got one. Uh, but the whole point was, you know, as Salmon did say that they're t taking away the private contractors coming in for cleaning because that's what caused a lot of the CDF and all all the rest. Because they would only clean up to high. They wouldn't. They were only clean exactly what it said. The whole thing was to make money. Yeah. Uh, now yeah. they're going back in house. So these people are uh, the cleaners will be employees of the health service and the health mm -hmm. boards and all the rest of it. So I should imagine it'll probably be the way, obviously, the way they calculate the money. There would be ten million less getting out, sent out to on cleaning contracts. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to see some more on that anyway. And but the most sensible one of the lot actually. Uh, was um, Murdoch Fraser at the end, um, you know. But palliative care. <clears throat> what was interesting, I mean, it was all about um, mortality rates, palliative care, which are all being looked at by the same group, which is this patient's health group. And that's basically what he kept saying. Salmon kept answering, yeah. well, that's been looked at, that's been looked at. You know, if you want more detail on it, speak to the health secretary, he'll give you more detail. That seems to have been a get out of jail free card for the SNP in a lot of ways. Mm. Because the figures are good, you know, I mean it's 12% yeah. drop in I'm mortality sure. rates anyway. And I actually feel quite happy with the next General Secretary of the Scottish Labour Party being in charge of the health service, um, Mr Alec Neil. To be a general secretary of the Scottish Labour Party. Yeah. <laughs> no, I so know. I feel really quite happy in that, you know what I mean? No, no, but no. then, but what did you think of uh, Jackie Bailey's question, which started off quite sensible, but you're waiting for the stick because she's got that smirk. Um, and then the sting came and you thought, well, what? Like she seems to completely ignore that we have a toxic government of the UK. Yeah, but who's, Sam, who's, but who's, who's, who's running through with a sign. Uh, particularly on benefits for, you know, families and everything but else. She picked a subject where Salmon had stats. Yeah. 21% back in whenever, down to 15% now, despite the cuts. Mm -hmm. Don't forget all these Has she got a researcher that hates I don't her? know. But you, then there's a but smirk you, on you her face. You've got to bear in mind that Salmon knows what these questions are a full seven days or more before he has to answer them, apart from the party leaders. Oh, I didn't realise that. Well, all the backbench questions, apart, well, you get two or three thrown in when it's a, a, a job, a lot, a lot of jobs are lost in a constituency, or mm. uh, the issue, for example, was it Liam MacArthur about the Orkney ferries, or something mm. topical. But, yeah. Yeah, but you know what that is, I mean, that, that, that's going to be the ferries again trying to hold the government to ransom. Yeah. Well, I mean, they shouldn't, uh, yeah, the whole privatising of the ferries, it doesn't seem to be a good. And who privatised ferries? No, tell you what was interesting. Who privatised first? Labour. Labour left. Yeah. Ah. Now, I tell you what was interesting. You've got Kenny Gibson, Jane Baxter, Bob Doris, all asked questions about fostering. Presumably, there's a debate on in yeah. Parliament today. Yeah, there's not enough. There's not enough people because also the the be if you the benefit system is hitting you if you're fostering. Um, if you, I mean, it's having an adverse effect on things like that. Well, I do remember if something in, about if you fostered and had a spare bedroom for the fostered child, it didn't count as nope. a used bedroom. Yeah, and stuff like that. So, um, I know. I noticed today on the, the news this morning that uh, the BBC are using uh, the not using bedroom tax, it's bedroom subsidy. Oh, they're yeah. taking the. the the, the, have you not noticed the BBC is just now the state broadcaster? Just well, not perhaps a, not, anything not the government last says. Night. Well, it's not last sick, night, isn't it? At the moment, it's not last on the night. news I'm talking about. Well, last last night on uh, Newsnight, it was bedroom tax, spare room subsidy. They both got mentioned. Mm -hmm. I mean, what kind of euphemism is spare room subsidy? 
I mean, what exactly does that mean? Well, it, it basically means you We're got... giving you a subsidy for your spare room. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're not paying your rent. The taxpayer's paying your rent. You've got a room that you're not using. So we're actually subsidising you to have extra rooms. When there's all these hard-working, tax-paying people going out that can just about afford to buy studio flats and things. You know? I, mean, I mean, it's terrible. Don't get me started on property. <laughs> well, the, the price of property oh. in, in London is just a, a, a Oh, it's all, yeah. Well, well, the bubble's starting to go up again, you know, and this is a, there's growth, there's growth, there's growth. Well, sorry, there was huge growth, wasn't it? And then it exploded. It's a bubble. Um, they just the, don't learn, do they? Well, the, other, the other big news this week is this UN reporter. Oh, yeah, good for her. Have you seen um, her? Very good. Yeah, but one, I, you know, the big thing is about tax, but one of our other recommendations is that there's a rent cap. Because, hmm. I mean, the, the, the Tories have, sorry, the coalition, have managed to convince huge swathes of the country that this rent money going to these dole scroungers is going in their pocket. It isn't. No. It's going to landlords. Mm -hmm. It's going to Tories. You know. <laughs> it's going to landlords anyway. Because the, the problem, the, the two ways to solve the problem, sorry, the one way to solve the problem, was to cap rents. We're giving you 400 quid, you can't charge more than 400 quid to anybody on welfare. Boom. Sorted. Yeah, but it, it, it's kind of deeper than that in a way that the whole thing's a bit more convoluted because all that money, uh, at the moment money goes into with social housing and it goes into not-for-profit uh, housing associations and everything else. And you get all these rapacious Tory bastards that are sitting there thinking, we could have all these houses. Um, and we could make massive profits. So by doing this, they're going to cripple the housing associations and councils, but particularly housing associations, which are limited companies, and they cannot run, and are charities, so they're not allowed to run at a deficit. So no. when they go into a deficit, they have to sell them, and guess who's going to buy them? Rapacious Tory bastards. And then all these people will still be in these rapacious Tory bastards. I'll keep repeating the word. Rapacious right? Tory bastards, bastards right? How do they'll own it? And they'll make even more money out of it. Why don't you just give them an acronym, like RTVs or something? You know? No, no, no. Rapacious no. Tory bastards. It sounds much better. It sounds much better. Oh, actually, a good Scottish word. Human shite. Yes, dear. But that. I mean, <laughs> I mean, the whole thing, if you sit and you, you can see the whole game plan. There was no and, you know, mention this. of oh. the bedroom tax and the 20 million today on question time. No. Well, I watched Ian Gray last night uh, talking about this 20 million pound new subsidy for the bedroom tax by from Scottish taxation. That, fi that figure comes from Shelter, the 20 million. Is it? Well, and... Uh, Who I'd be more likely to trust than... And Ian Gray, I, I was shouting at the telly this morning when they repeated it on, on the news. I was shouting because this is the man whose government brought in the bedroom tax, and well, he's attacking the the, the, the SNP. Well, they didn't bring it in well, as it was. I'll no, you, yeah, I mean, I'll tell you, if if I was anywhere, anybody in the Yes campaign, every time uh, a Labour Party uh, apparatchik appeared, it would be, oh, you won't be able to answer that question because you haven't published your manifesto yet. Because that's all they do. Oh well, we can't answer that because we haven't published our manifesto yet. You know? Do you think all black people should be hung, drawn, and quad? Can't answer that because we haven't published our manifesto yet. Do you think it's a good idea to murder children on a Friday? Can't oh no, we couldn't that. tell you that. At least no, not more than a, a wee bit before because you and can't yet, let everything out. And yet they expect the minutiae from the SNP. Yeah. You know. All right. Let's try to go at some. How did, well, let's start with you, Nori. What do, how do you think um, Joe La performed today? I'm really, really not happy with, with what she did. I mean, it, she's back to reading off the script. It was a total smear. And I'm sorry, for a leader of an opposition party, if that's the best she can come up with the day after the budget was put on the table, She's failing miserably. I mean, it's it's a simple hate campaign, and it was amateurish, totally out of order. If it's found to have no substance, she should be dragged in front of the oh, presiding huh? officer and get a good kicking. If there is an issue with it, <coughs> we do need an explanation. But for the day after the budget, I mean, that's the one you keep in your back pocket. I just, I'm not. 
No, I was not impressed at all. You want to give her a score? It'll hit the headlines. From that point of view, it will hit the headlines. Um, and I, I genuinely believe it'll turn out to be a smear because they, they seem to shoot themselves in the foot all the time. I would be very surprised if it wasn't a smear and couldn't be explained legitimately. I'm going to give her two because she's got her headlines. Willie Rooney? Willie slipped back into real leader of a, an opposition party mode today. Yeah, it's strange, yeah. He did quite well. Um, Apologetic. He was well. He was he was good at not blaming anybody. Yeah. While still asking a question, that's a legitimate question. Yeah. I mean, it's an area of serious con concern that had been highlighted by a report, and get out of the public domain. Yeah. No, I thought he did much better than his two-year-old question that he normally has. Um, so I'll give him a five. I would have, I'd have liked to ask Willie Rennie about, uh, given that Michael Goh wants primary schools to delay teaching until they're seven year old in England, and yet uh, here we have uh, Willie Rennie wanting children going into nursery at two. Who's right? It's a different thing. I mean, I know, that, uh, is it Sweden they don't actually go to primary school to start learning? Until they're about six or seven. You know, but they, they arrive capable of counting yeah. and reading and it's just not done in such a structured way. Yeah, it's, it's done in a more play basis, and more social um, mixing. Finland basis. is supposed to be the outside Asia, the, the most successful the educational best education in the world. System, yeah. Well, it might well be Finland. I couldn't tell you for sure. Yeah, Finland has one. the best. Ask. Yeah, Can you bear in mind Iceland. that Finland used to be the poor yeah. brother of Sweden? Yeah. It was like Scotland yeah. to England. It, uh, yeah, and, and it was exactly the same um, and level with us and being the unhealthy person, you know, being um, rather. Porky um, and eating garbage, and it took them 30 years to turn themselves around to be mainstream healthy. Meanwhile, in Scotland, From give me another way. pie! <laughs> <laughs> we ate all the pies. So, and Ruth, Ruth today was talking about what? Yeah, I think, I think she may well have a legitimate point. I think she went by the wrong way. I think she might have, the question really should have been, it's failing. Um, the not-for-profit. There's something there, but there's been very late many. getting going. Where she failed was to highlight the problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a problem, and she didn't quite make it a soundbite, which she needed to do. But she was feisty. She was fiery. She, yeah. you know, her rhetoric's improving. She's getting more comfortable. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll give her. I'll actually give her one more than Willie. I'll give her a six. Mm -hmm. Alex? He was very stumbly again. Didn't have everything down pat. M much like last week, I felt he... Slight, slightly better than that. He hugged oh, yeah, and yeah, hawed yeah, a bit. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna give... On Alex's scale, actually, he's no better than a six. He, he wasn't... He wasn't as on the ball. He's only getting a six. Yeah, he's only Does any officer? Didn't have much to do. Um, Keeping Mark going, like. If, if, <laughs> if you don't, notice, no, don't notice her, and, and yeah, and then she's uh, doing very well. She's doing well. I'll, I'll get, actually give her a seven. She was, she's, she seems to be back on the ball after a real illness. Yeah, I think actually, I think the presiding officer won last week, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the cheek. No, J Lo won. J Lo. Uh, uh, Jula. All right then, Phil. How about you, Jula? Again, back to the hooded eyes, looking down, reading a lot of the stuff. Quite simple. Just train teachers you should have to keep with this, and it's the way the eyes keep. It's why I've got a secret. And wasn't and it, it was a complicated subject? No, uh, yeah, because she it had was two figures. It to was remember just a name. It was yeah, just that's true. No, no, no. Well, it was because the whole point is uh, they sat down and they plotted it that whole way, and she's got a script to read. You know, so that's it, you know. Uh, I mean, it was just, it was... Same by If there's yeah. something in there, if there's something in it, and what she was actually saying, it sounds very, very serious, you know. I mean, yeah, it's, it's corruption. Well, why is she bringing it there? Why is she going to the why police? Did, all right. um, oh, and, and all the rest of it. But why did so, she w w use all her questions up on that one thing? She could yeah. have made the point with the very first question. 
and sent some, then responded to uh, Simon's reaction, and then moved on to something else. But I, I, again, it just seems to be on that smeary, nice, very bad, very bad presentation. Um, sorry, I mean, yeah, I'll be slightly. I'll give her a four. Yeah, I'll give her a four. Ruth. Um, Ruth, yeah, Ruth's presentation was fine. I, I agree she's with Nori. The presentation is always good because she's a professional friend. Yeah, yeah, but it was that bit. Bad. Well, she was face. She was very she's good today. Uh, and uh, I think she missed the point. Yeah, she, she wasn't. Yeah, she was good presentation, but actually she, she could have got it a wee bit more succinct. So it would be. It was yeah. hard to work out. You were just getting hit with figures. Um, I'll actually give. I'll give her a six um, as long as she teaches Joanne how to present properly. Uh, <laughs> we really? Yeah, Willie actually seemed to have a, a reason for being today. <laughs> uh, um, but he's still Willie, eh? and he's still that kind of um, little sainty Willie, you know. And I wouldn't want to upset his fucking thought. I I think. I think it suits him. Yeah. That much more diplomatic, pick a serious subject. No, he looks just like the Willie on that cartoon you do. You know what I mean? Can he help it, Wiggy? You know what I mean? So, um, what about Alex? Then? Alec, yeah, he was a bit like last time, so I'll actually just, I'll give him six. Ooh, these are very low scoring for Alex. Yeah, yeah, well, it wasn't very good, and the presiding officer, yeah, I'll give her a seven. Ooh, okay. I um, thought, Joel, uh, you either think she had um, a valid point to make, or you didn't. I don't think she did, but even as such, I, think I pointed out that she gets actually four questions, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. She didn't She didn't need to use four questions on the one topic. No. She could have quite easily had a go at something else. Smear, the budget. smear, smear. So I'm only give. I'm not giving that. I give her two. She's done do, you know, do you know what I noticed? I can't remember a sound bite. No, there wasn't. And there usually is two oh, or three in well, there. Usually is, so that you can hear them on the radio or on the telly, yeah. but there you go. She was a bit like a dirty protest in the H-Blocks. Here's another man of shame. Here's another man of shame. You know, that um, must have been horrible. I don't know think about that. <laughs> uh, Ruth. Uh, well, Ruth always, as I say, she, she's a professional television presenter. She always presents well on television. Mm. That's her job. Um, and for a change of topic was uh, reasonable. She could have done better in the way she could have Quite clearly, she could have got more mileage out of it. Salmon dealt with it with ease, as far as I was concerned. So I'm just going to give her a four. It's certainly better than uh, than Jola. Willie, I have to agree with you guys. He almost as you know, he was suddenly he's there, found himself <laughs> again. <laughs> and uh, the topic was good. He didn't mess it up. He wasn't even being stared at from behind with a. <laughs> Whip, you know, used to get, used to think the previous leader Tavish used to sit behind him and I think poke him with a stick <laughs> while he was standing. But no, he, he was good. I have to say, well, I'll, I'll give him six. I think he did really well. Wasn't that good? I know. Uh, Alex, I don't agree with you guys. I think Alex was uh, on his game. He was given very do little. Really, do you really think he looked the part against? Mm. He looked really good. Come well, on, Jola. He, he responded straight away that this is a smear. I'm not accepting it. It's unprofessional. It's um, not, you know, the whole thing. He put it down. He tries not. Bear in mind, he tries not to come across as as, as bully mm. the women. So bear that in mind. Should have just given her two barrels. Uh, I'm sorry. I think yeah. Alan was was his Should've average. Should have just given her two barrels. It was his average eight, as far as I was concerned. I don't see what you guys see. Well, I I. But think then I didn't. Had he week. had he ripped her another arsehole? No, then she might next week. She might actually not come back. With... Well, actually, let's try something that's relevant. To what's going on throughout the side? Stunning! They've got a budget sitting in front of them. Yeah, none true. of them mentioned the budget. The private presiding officer again. There was a little bit of desk banging when she and Jola started off, uh, but she didn't reprimand them, and it, that was it. We didn't hear any more desk banging. We didn't hear shouting. They were all well behaved, but she didn't have to do very much in that. And on the one hand, when you don't notice the presiding officer, you want to score high. But on the other hand, they were well behaved. Yeah. The class were well behaved. So I'm only going to give it five. I don't see the, I don't see the seven. So what are we looking at? Jola. Oh dear, she's only got an eight. Dearie me. Fifteen for Willie. Sixteen for Ruth. Woo. Uh, Alec, six, six, tw twenty for Alec. And... Uh, Oh, wow, 19 for the presiding officer. Alex just goes ahead, 
wins by a hair. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's actually worked out quite well mm. because he did well after Joanna Lamont. So, so this was, yeah, the Alex 20, presenting officer 19, Ruth 16, Ruth, Ruth 16, but Jola, no. <laughs> when he was answering Willie's, Reddy's question, I couldn't help but feel he was like that encouraging coach with the not quite good enough player. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a very good try. That was a very good question. Now <laughs> keep that up and we'll be very nice to you if you keep acting sensibly, you know. Right. Right. It was, that was the first picture that flashed in my head. Yeah. Well, interesting, not exciting, not feisty, not angry, but then... Was there a single question concerning the budget? No. Was there a, well, what's the sound bite going to be on the news? The budget didn't need budget. No, the sound bite will be about corruption. But see, that's the one. There isn't a soundbite. There's nothing really no. to quote. And do you think the BBC will uh, lead with the corruption? Well, they can blame her so they can report what she said. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm sorry, I cannot. I mean, if ministers are at arm's length, that's the first thing. So if there is shenanigans at the crossroads, it's got to be in the hands of some civil servant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the, the words that kept coming out of her mouth was, he bought, he bought. So it was trying to, he bought. trying to smear salmon. Yeah, it was he bought, it was personalised. It's very amateurish. It was just nasty. Um, actually, it was quite reminiscent of the watching a debate last Thursday. Do you know, it was a real missed opportunity, actually, because she had the opportunity to basically criticise mm the civil service on different levels under his management. Yeah, yeah. That was the way to do it. Exactly. She, she failed miserably. And I, and you know, I mean, I'm having real problems with my party of choice, which has always been the Labour Party, with this stuff, this naming, naming people who cannot defend themselves, uh, in my opinion, is outrageous. Okay, I think that's a good place to finish. Thank you very much, gentlemen. And uh, until the next time, goodbye.